In this video, we'll talk about the auto email. Starting with number one, how do we set it up? First, we're gonna go on the search residential quick, type in the criteria. I'm gonna type in the first few letters of the building name, select this first one, Brookside, and click on results. So at, you, at the bottom, you can see the search criteria. Yeah. So all we have to do at this point is click on save and the new auto email button. Okay, so we need a contact name or contact. And I'm gonna use an old one here. Uh, it needs the subject line. And you can see the welcome email message and also the recurring. So if there's any updates, you get the recurring. Okay, and your signature. And we're gonna move down to the second part, uh, settings. It's automatically set up for reverse prospecting. So if this is selected, which is the default, the listing agent can see you as the matching buying agent. So let me explain. So the listing, if your criteria matches his listing, then he will be able to see your name. Not your client's name, but just your name. So if you uncheck this, then they will not be able to see you. So when would you turn it on or turn it off? If you have a true client, I would leave it on. Um, then if there's any price changes or any changes to the property or statuses, they can notify you if need be. Second thing here is the concierge. So we would enable this if you want the search results to be directed to you first before it goes out to your clients. So if this is selected, what happens is that uh, the emails will be sent to you or the listings and you have to approve it before it goes out to your client. And that's probably will be another email. Email, not email, another video. Okay, down below, schedule. So you can actually schedule it for once a month. It goes at the first of the month or once a week or as many as twice a day. Or the last option, as soon as possible. So as soon as somebody enters something that matches your criteria, you'll be sent the email or your client will be sent the email or both. And we click on save and that's it. That's how you create an auto email.